I picked the three-quarter model. They have different sizes. The most frustrating thing is the end of this. Going from right to left, we have 99 cents for the quick disconnect. All right, so let's talk about the parts that are needed. The first thing is the Orbit sprinkler valve. I picked the three-quarter model. They have different sizes. This is model number 57100. This is a 24-volt AC solenoid on this sprinkler valve, which you can also run with 12 volts DC for short periods of time which is perfect in this application. Anything less than 12 volts, and um, I've heard that there are issues with it actually firing. Anything more than that, and you're going to burn this thing up. Okay, first of all, the cost of this thing was $12.91 as of uh, September 2016. Now coming out of this thing, three quarter inch threads. So we need to get that down to one quarter inch is typically what you see. So out of this three quarter inch hole, we want to get to really a quarter of an inch. And that's very difficult to do. We spent hours in Home Depot, but we did actually find these, which are three quarter inch to one quarter inch inside diameter. This is called a three quarter to one quarter inch galvanized bushing. And you'll find it in Home Depot where they have all the plumbing pipe fittings. This is $3.26. You need two of these. One for this end, one for this end. All right, so this side is your intake, this side is your out. The bushings go like this in here, and then you need something to connect to your air compressor. Now, people say to use a pressure gauge. Yeah, you need that if you're running multiple things. I'm only running this one pneumatic, so I'm using the pressure gauge on my um, compressor. Quarter inch quick disconnect and this is the kind that fits right on your air compressor here's my air compressor hose slides right in there okay that will fit right on here we're going to use a pipe thread of course these you can pick up at harbor freight for 99 cents each. Uh, I happen to have these sitting around. The brass ones are $1.59, I believe, but for 99 cents, you can get just uh, metal ones. It's way cheaper than you're gonna get at Home Depot. So that will go like that, and we'll connect our air compressor here. Now the other end, we need to get to our piston, which in this case is an automatic screen door closer. These are $10 at Home Depot. But if you're cheap like me, and maybe you've got a little junk store around you, various independent junk stores have lots of different crappy tools and things, sort of like a Harbor Freight. I picked this up at a place called Wild Bills for $1.99. So how good the quality is, I don't know, but you can't beat the price. Okay, so coming out of this side of the valve, we've got our galvanized bushing, and then I've got this brass male coupler. It's one quarter inch because we went from three quarters to one quarter. It's one quarter on both sides. Again, skip Home Depot for this. Really expensive at Home Depot. Uh, several dollars at Harbor Freight, 99 cents. Out of that, we're gonna connect this brass T. Again, skip Home Depot for this. Way too expensive. At Harbor Freight, I picked this up for $1.99. That's going to go there. We have this T now, and this is gonna continue on to our air piston. But up here, we're gonna add this ball valve which if you look inside there, you can see how that's open and then it's closed when I 
close that. That's going to allow us to have the air release out of the piston. This is probably the most expensive thing next to this. This was $3.99 at Harbor Freight. Still way cheaper than Home Depot, and that's going to go up here at the top like this. And we're going to be able to regulate when the piston fires the air coming back out. And uh, now we can talk about the connection on the air piston. Now, what I did was because I struggled with all of this stuff for several hours. I picked up a coiled hose from Harbor Freight. The coiled nylon hose was the same price as this at $3.99. So um, I did that just to get these end connectors. This is a barbed hose that is one quarter inch. And that's going to connect right into this T right here. That's going to connect and then this hose that I have, which I picked up at Lowe's for 24 cents a square foot. It's rated at 125 PSI over 70 feet and I only needed a few feet of it. So a dollar for this and that's going into my two dollar piston here. The most frustrating thing is the end of this. And this right here is a one eighth inch barbed connector. And I had to drill a 5 16 inch hole into this thing. Then I had to tap it with a 3 8 inch tap, which makes absolutely no sense. And that made it so I could fit this 1 8 inch thread in there. Why? I don't know. Why it works like that, I have no idea. But that's in there. It's threaded in there. Other people have been using uh, street elbows and all of this other stuff, and I just couldn't find anything that would fit inside this this little thing. Uh, finding sizes below one quarter of an inch at Home Depot and Lowe's is it's just impossible. They don't carry it, and you're not going to find it there. And I couldn't find anything really at uh, Harbor Freight either, so you, you have to go somewhere else to get this. This I just happened to have from previous purchases maybe included in a big kit or something. So for this one, I don't know how much it is. And that's gonna to connect to the other end of the hose here, like that. So we have hose coming out over here, going in here, and then that's our, that's our thing. That's our entire water sprinkler solenoid homemade air piston. It's not cheap, I wouldn't do it again. Um, spent a lot of time shopping and it was really uh, not fun. Going from right to left, we have 99 cents for the with quick disconnect, $3.26 for the galvanized bushing, $12.97 for this, another $3.26 for that. This was $0.99, cents, this male one quarter inch bushing. This brass tee from Harbor Freight was $1.99. The valve was $3.99. This came off of the hose that I paid $3.99 for, so you can call that however much you want. You know, just, we'll say $3.99. I know it's not really that much, but that's what I ended up paying for it. And then uh, into this thing, we have, I don't know, question mark. Don't know how much it was. And then we have a $1.99 screen door closer, which you probably won't be able to find, so... And it's probably a piece of shit, honestly, uh, from Home Depot. This is $10.96. So $10.96 if you want to go with that one. Not cheap, but I think it's probably cheaper than pneumatics. Let me give you one other tip, too. When you buy this thing, open the box up. Make sure these lines are tied up with a twist tie and the ends aren't already pre-stripped. They should have a little... You should be able to see a little bit of the wire but then there should be insulation over the rest of it. Make sure there's no dirt on the manual part of the valve. This right here you can loosen and open to manually trigger this. We didn't notice that till we got home and uh, we spent, I don't know, 45 minutes trying to make this damn thing work and turns out somebody had uh, swapped out the solenoid for a defective one and threw it back on the shelf. So it was defective. This one we've tested and it works. So I'm gonna put this stuff together and let's see what happens. Now you're supposed to use a different kind of pipe thread, one that's rated for air pressure. Couldn't find it, it's a yellow tape. So I'm gonna use this stuff. Most people seem to use this and it doesn't seem to be a problem. That's about all the way in. You do wanna double check on these, there are little arrows 
to point the direction that the air goes so that you, you don't do it wrong. It doesn't really matter that it's uh, facing down. You might say that's a problem because it hits this piece, but that's fully open and we don't want that anyway. We're just gonna have this thing cracked a little bit like this. So that air also passes through this while it passes into the piston. Now if I find that this hose is slipping, I'll just put a hose clamp on this. I'm, I'm pretty confident in this hose's ability to handle the really limited amount of air pressure I'm gonna be putting into it. It is rated for high pressure water, but who know, you never know. And then this is the last step here. The other part you're also gonna need, of course, is a 12 volt power supply, which I have already. How much are these? I don't know. You don't need much amperage. If I recall correctly, these only pull about 200 milliamps DC. So it's not anything special. You can have a really low amperage, cheap, couple dollar, 12 volt power supply. I happen to have a car battery sitting right here, believe it or not. Matter of fact, I think I'll just use the car battery since I got it. <laughs> See if we can get this thing to do anything. All right, so I have my helper. We have this set at 30 PSI. Hit it, Brenda. There you go. There you go. So it's at 40 PSI. Okay. Might do a little lubrication there. Let me close this up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, it takes a long time to release then. It's pretty good. It's a little work. There you go. There's your, uh, Extremely expensive and way too time consuming homemade air piston and solenoid system. So next time we'll put this on a prop and uh, have it pop up out of the coffin. I'm sure that'll be filled with all kinds of fun. Oh yay. Yay. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and um, don't forget to leave some comments if you have any and hit that subscribe button if you're new and you'll get notified when I make future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Found it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Once you get it going, it's not so bad, but getting it going is the hardest part. Believe you me. These sizes make absolutely no sense. For example, this bit is 3 8 supposedly. I had to use a 5 16 drill bit to make a hole that would work with that. And this is supposedly, I don't know what size this is, it's not 3 8 It's just all very bizarre. Things aren't what they say they are or they're measuring different diameters, the outside diameter versus the inside diameter. Which makes uh, doing this so much fun. I don't even know where the f it is on here. What? Why is that funny? Why are you laughing? Because you said hit Brenda and then it went whoop and then let it go.